it reminds me of a management jargon where we have a 2 by 2 matrix you know of essential important so we always tend to give in to things which are urgent and uh, not so essential you know if phone rings i must pick up the phone no matter what and things like our health which is essential but not urgent we tend to push back so somewhere if we can use those models and say adhyatma helps you identify the right priorities mm -hmm. in life and then focus on them is that it would that be right yes that let, let us see this way this relates to everybody we come with a vaad like she has spoken something now this is called vaad all sanskrit people you are knowing now if we do conversation some opposing ideas will be there some for the idea, for it ideas will be there when all have come together and agree then it becomes some vaad now when all have bec here become agree and they go outside and whole world agrees then it becomes satsang that there is no exception to it absolutely no exception if somebody is going against truth that means lie mm -hmm. so there is no choice mm -hmm. so then it becomes satsang so if coming to the reality if it boils down to our behavior here and now so if we say can we agree on one thing that we have a limited span mm -hmm. since our birth to our passing away can there be any disagreement over it what is giving me this power of assuming that there is no disagreement because i see that you people are reasonable thinkers so you will know automatically now if you have some limited time then what is the purpose of this limited time here you were not there now you will not be there what are you here for so there has to be some uddeshya that is your aim in life now for that aim to achieve or attain howsoever you are seeing it you need clarity you need consciousness so if these things all three things come together then you become an integrated individual who can take the decision at the spur of moment otherwise you don't know whether you are driven by compulsion or necessary and mostly when you get confused then what the half of the audience was saying inner peace is disturbed outer peace disturbance is okay that runs in life when you are riding a bus going anywhere something or other will be there but if you lose inner peace you lose yourself that is who you are you are always in samadhi peaceful but you don't know it, that that how big a treasure you are how infinite you are then what is the problem for a infinite being to make decision in just moments because they don't know that who they really are so that is the utility of the adhyatma and this nation mm -hmm. is the one who is showing light to the world mm -hmm. i am not saying for anything you look at any prime minister or any uh, president of any country or any foreign minister of any country and what they are saying and what our prime minister or our foreign minister is saying just go through that those statements and compare yourself that whether if somebody is off the balanced mind except that there is a limit that we have so many identities like we have a national identity everybody has to take care of the national interest but there is a rule beyond that also that are you there to show how to behave in current circumstances so that others learn that this is the way to behave behave i means simple vyavhar in jeevan mein how to do it how to conduct yourself so we are the oldest in some way and the newest culture because we say nitya word nitya means both the oldest and the current one so you are the leaders who are going to take that place